Hey guys, Trackline here on Mine Holy DK. I just posted a few new macros that work for the latest update, so I thought I'd post them for you. I have a link down below if you want to copy and paste the macros, or if you have the Impulse add-on, you can come up here, click Impulse, and yeah, just sift through all their macros and they'll go straight to your macro tab. Or of course, go to the pick a modifier and they'll go straight to your hotbar tab. I also have a link down below, of course, to all my add-ons, uh, bartender, etc. Everyone always asks, so yeah, all the add-ons, macros, everything's in the description, guys. I have links for everything. So the first macro I tested today was a, a mouse over for my death grip, which looks like this. Slash cast bracket target equals mouse over, harm, exists, no dead, death grip. And if you want to switch out the spell, put whatever you want in there, switch it here. And here and leave that semicolon and put whatever you want in there. Uh, so how this works is if you just have a single target with no mouse over, you know, of course you can have the, your single target mouse over if you want, uh, but it'll just go off on them like that. Uh, but let's say you want to keep your single target and mouse over someone else and use your death grip, you can do that. I also have it set up for my outbreak, the same exact macro, uh, just to show you. So if you're on your single target. You know, you can just simply mouse over people and use it like that. And of course, you don't need a single target or anything like that. You can just mouse over people at will and, you know, use this type of macro for whatever spell you want. Chains of Eyes, Mind Freeze, uh, whatever. And yeah, that's how that works. Next up is a Focus Chains of Ice micro, which looks like this. Slash cast bracket target equals focus, exist, no dead, chains of ice. Just like the last one, switch it here and here and leave that semicolon. And how this works is if you just have a single target with uh, no focus at all, it'll always go off on your single, just like this. But if you do have a focus, let's say this dummy's on my focus, and on this UI, my focus is right here, as you can see with the blinking. Um, so this is my focus. Now that I do have a focus, it's always going to go on my focus rather than my single, just like this. So no focus goes on single, focus goes on the focus, uh, just like that. So yeah, so switching, that's my focus, this is my focus, that's my focus. So you can see, you can set it up where, you know, um, you can still do all, all your stuff here, you know, CCs, whatever you want on your main person. And then if you do have a focus, you can switch it to them however you want. So just like the last one, Chains of Ice, Mind Freeze, those type of spells. Uh, all your damaging abilities, basically anything you want. And if you want to get your um, focus on and off people quicker, you, you can use a macro like this. And you can just copy and paste that from the webpage. And how this works is... Let's say you want to put anyone on your target or your focus. Well, you can do that. You can just mouse over them, put them on your uh, focus like that. Uh, how it works is one click puts them on, and then the second click turns them off. So one click, you can turn anyone on. Uh, let's say this is my current focus, and I want to put this one on focus. First click takes it off. Second click turns it on. So all you do is double click basically if you want to switch focuses. Like that. I wish that grunt would walk by so I could show you because it all looks the same. But oh, just in the nick of time. See, just double click. There we go. So yeah, it's a really nice macro. And if you have a single target, doesn't really matter. Put whoever you want on your focus. It can do a couple cool things. So I recommend just checking out and playing with it. And the last macro I tested today was a modifier for my festering strike and my scourge strike. Which looks like this slash cast bracket modifier alt score strike semicolon festering strike. And if you never used a modifier before, what you put right here, the alt, you can like replace it with like a shift or control if that's easier for you. And what you put before the semicolon is what you're modifying. So here's the macro on my key bind right here. As you see, if I just use it right now, it'll be my festering strike. Uh, just like this. But if I hold down Alt and hit the same key, it's going to be my Scourge Strike, just like that. Uh, so, Festering Strike, Normal Keybind, Alt, 
and you don't have to hold down alt. You can just hold it down, hit the key binding, and you can let go. So if you're if you're using this type of macro on like a caster with long spells, you just have to hold it down uh, to use it. You don't have to hold it down for the duration of the spell. Uh, so yeah, these modifiers are good for a couple of reasons. First, you can save on keybind space and interface space by just you know setting up your keys with um, you know multiple modifiers, so you can save a lot of interface space using them. And more importantly, say you're really good with a certain key like the A key and keys around the A. Well, you can just set modifier markers for those keys instead of trying to get good with keys you're not very good with, like the number keys or keys on the right side of the keyboard or anything like that. So, yeah, you become a little more efficient with your keys by using those modifiers. All right, guys, well, that's the last macro I made today. I'm on Holy DK. I at least tested it today. If you want to see more macros on Holy DK, just drop a like on the video, and I'll know you enjoyed it, and I'll make more for you guys. Have a good one.